Dashboards are a great way to provide high-level overview of your systems. Let's see how to work with dashboards in Semitext, how to create them, customize them, organize, and clone them. When you create a new app in Semitext, you automatically get a number of dashboards and charts out of the box, so you don't need to start from scratch. For example, here's a dashboard that was automatically created for my Docker monitoring app. To modify this out-of-the-box overview dashboard, just use drag and drop. Once you like the layout, you can save it. So here, we modified the layout of one of the dashboards. You can also clone dashboards before modifying them or create them from scratch. It's important to note that dashboards shown under an app include only metrics that belong to that app. To place charts showing data from multiple apps on the same dashboard, you'll want to create a top-level dashboard. To add a new dashboard, click on the plus icon and give it a name. Next, select what type of data widget we want to add to the new dashboard. Let's add metrics from an existing monitoring app. To do that, I'll select Monitoring Metric Time Series, then my monitoring app, and then my container CPU chart. We can add more widgets. For example, let's add the container memory chart, but from a different app. Now we can see the two metrics side by side, each from a different app. In addition to sending your metrics to Semitext, you can also send your logs. So when you're troubleshooting, you have both your metrics and logs close by. So, let's add a widget showing the number of logs in one of the Logs apps. Here, we'll choose the Logs app and save the widget. Finally, we can add the actual logs by choosing the Logs widget. Typically, you're not interested in seeing all logs, especially when there are lots of them. So, we can add a query for the Logs widgets to filter out unwanted logs. For example, we can choose to see only errors. Here we go! With a few clicks, we've built a simple dashboard showing CPU and memory metrics along with log count and error logs. Let's talk about dashboard management. In the dashboard list, we can see all our dashboards. If we need to create a dashboard similar to one of the existing ones, we can clone it by going to Actions and choosing Clone Dashboard. We can modify the clone dashboard without affecting the original dashboard. For example, we could add additional metrics for a specific container. Again, we choose the app, a specific metric, and set a filter for the container. In the Meta tab, we can rename the metric name, which appears as widget title. Let's save that. Now we can see the memory of all containers and the memory usage of a specific container in one dashboard. We saw how to create a dashboard and add widgets to it from the dashboard view. But there is another way to add widgets to a dashboard. We can navigate to any existing monitoring or logs app and in the top right corner, choose Add to Dashboard. Then, select the dashboard to add this chart to. And that's it! If we go to this dashboard now, we can see the new chart we just added. In Semitext, you get out-of-the-box dashboards that you can clone and modify if you'd like. You can also create new dashboards from scratch and use top-level dashboards to bring together data from multiple apps and display them together, side-by-side, -side, for easier viewing and troubleshooting. Enjoy Semitext!